I just found another open source AI powered search engine. Introducing Perplexica. This is an open source AI powered search engine that goes deep into the internet to find answers. It's basically Google, but on steroids with the help of AI. It's inspired by Perplexity AI, which is another open source option. But this option over here is going to be able to not just search the web, but understands your questions better with the help of large language models. It uses advanced machine learning algorithms like similarly searching and embeddings to refine results. And this basically provides clear answers with sources cited. Now you can also use search XNG, which is to stay current and fully open source. So this is what Perplexica has adopted so that it can ensure that you will always get the most up-to-date information without compromising on your privacy. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Perplexica. So how can you install it? Well, there's two methods to actually install this locally. You can utilize it with Docker or without Docker. Starting off with Docker, you would simply wanna just clone this after you have Docker installed. Once you have cloned this repository, you just need to go change the sample.config file to this. And then you can just set your API keys for OpenAI if you're utilizing this large language model or if you're utilizing a large language model that is open source within Olama's directory, you can then set your Olama API key. And you can do the same thing with Grok and Claude. Once you have set your API keys, you can then go into the directory of Perplexica and then you can send this command in to your command prompt. And you can simply type, paste this in, docker compose up dash D. And if you're gonna be installing it with the non-Docker installation, you would just simply need to follow through with the same sort of installation process. You can also refer to the installation documentation, but in my opinion, I believe that it is easy to deploy it with the repo cloud service, where you just need to deploy it now on this button over here, create an account, which I'll do right now. And then once you have created your account, you just need to give it a project name. I'm just name it world of AI. And then I'm going to set an open AI API key. And then you can just click on deploy app. And with that, it should take a couple minutes to deploy it. And once it has finished loading up, we're going to then have it launched. So once it has finished deployed, you can actually click on this link now. And you're going to be able to then utilize Perplexica within this cloud hosting. And you're going to be able to now chat with whatever large language model that has been deployed, which is the GPT model from OpenAI. You can see that you have a search log. You have your whole history here and you're going to be able to change certain settings. For example, you can utilize different providers. You can utilize custom open AI. You can utilize GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo, as well as Omni, which is the new model, different text embedding models, API keys. If you're util utilizing open or Olama's API key, you can then just simply just paste it in. But now what you can do is just simply ask questions and you can even utilize questions or the copot and in this case i'm going to just ask it something random so let's ask it what is the world of ai youtube channel within a couple of seconds we should get an answer About three seconds one second. and there we go world of ai is a youtube channel and it's a platform that provides information about future technology the latest researches and it gives you a link to my channel and it even says best youtube channels so this is something that is really cool you can even see that there is going to be a provided related link where you can click on something that is related to it. You can have it uh, spoken as voice. You can copy it. And then you can even search images related to this. Now, if I am to go back, if I'm go to back on the regular home screen, you can turn on the copot so that you can utilize this feature to assist you in better generation. This is an AI powered search engine. And before we even get to installing it, I want to take a look at the architecture because this is something that is comprising of several key components that work together seamlessly. 
and it makes this something that is quite unique and it's something that you should definitely take a look at now we know that they have a user interface where they have a web-based platform that allows you to utilize the search for images you can use it for videos as well as for many other use cases you have agents and chains where these components are able to predict plexica's next action so they are going to be able to understand the user queries and decide whether a web search is necessary you have the sir xng and this is basically for a metadata search engine that is actually going to be used to score the internet for sources you have different large language models you can utilize claude as well as gbt's and they're basically employed by agents as well as chains to understand the content so that they can generate responses and cite sources quite accurately you lastly have embedding models and this is going to be used to enhance the accuracy for search results and this is by re-ranking them using similarity search algorithms and it's going to help you have a better concise and detailed explanation as to how these components are going to be working together and it's going to work on making sure that the accuracy of the search is better so this is basically architecture that makes perplexity runnable and it's something that we're going to take a look at now in terms of what sort of features are associated with it as well as how you can install it so let's quickly take a look at some features you have the ability to utilize local large language models so that you can make the search engine more specific to a certain type of large language model and this is where it would come handy if you want to create a search engine based off of your personal context where you train a large language model based off of that and this way you can make it so that this search engine is used specifically for a company or for a particular product now there is two main modes and there is basically a copilot mode which is currently in development and this is something that's going to enhance the searches by generating varied queries and this is to find more relevant sources as well as the normal mode and it's going to be used to process the query and perform web searches now there's also this thing that is going to be utilizing specialized focus modes and this is basically for different types of queries you have an all mode which is searching the entire web for the best results you have a writing assistant mode that's going to be utilized for writing tasks without web searches you have an academic search mode which is going to find articles and papers for research you have youtube search mode which is going to locate relevant youtube videos and you also have wolfram alpha and this is going to be used to query needing calculations or data analytics you have reddit search which is something that's going to be used for discussions and opinions and you can also see that there's also a current information option and this is basically where they use search and g and this is a meta search engine that is going to retrieve and re-rank results so that it is going to out like avoid the outdated information that is common in systems that rely on pre-crawled data so it's making sure that it's going to be able to process the most relevant information as well as the most up-to-date so this is where you can see that it's going to be uploading or sorry supporting various sorts of features including image and video search and it has so many other features in development for example you have so many other cool things that are going to be coming where they're going to finalize the copilot mode you have an addition of a discover and history saving feature and in my opinion why would you not want to use this because this is something that is open source it is keeping your data private because it's locally installed and you're basically having it so that it could utilize various other integrations and this is coming at a super cheap cost and if you're not even going to be utilizing it for internet web searches you won't even need an api key a serp api key as you would just need to ask questions based off the context that you provide it so this is would be a great tool regardless even if it's a search engine it could be used for various cases where it could be used for a company where it could be used for a product or service and you can ask it questions or have it so that it could be an assistant that can assist you in various ways and that's about it for today's video on perplexica this is something that you should definitely take a look at with the link in the description below now if you are interested in these types of videos definitely let me know in the description below because i'd love to make more content on this but with that thought guys make sure you check out the patreon page because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas